Alright, this is the movie, The Life and Times of Hank Greenberg. I'm going to get Aviva to sign it. And then there's um, the advertisement that went out. My name is in the credits. She used, a lot of the pictures that um in the movie, the ones that don't move, are from my baseball cards and other items. So, I mean, Aviva did a great job with the movie. Took a lot of research to gather up all that stuff. I hope she does another sports one, but I don't know if she will. All right, guys, listen, we're here at Aviva Kempner's house. She did the wonderful movie, The Life and Times of Hank Greenberg. Who wants to go press the doorbell? Me! Okay, go up there. Let's go press the doorbell. Let's go see Aviva. Did you press it, Sarah? No, don't press it over and over. <laughs> oh, look. Hi, Neil. Hi, Hi, hi Aviva. Hi, how well, are I'm you? I'm glad you're coming to pick up the poster. You know, your daddy was very helpful to me in the film. And this, this is Aviva, guys. She made that great movie on Hank Greenberg. High five. High five. Doesn't hi, Neil. She have, hi. hi, Dylan. Come on. Doesn't she have a nice place? She has a big picture somewhere of Hank Greenberg, I remember. Come here, girl. Life size. And Six foot four. There he is, 220 Dana. pounds. There he is, Is that Dana. great, artist? Dana. And see, that's from the film, The Life and Times of Hank Greenberg. See that? And like the, there's a T, and, and there's this jersey right there. There's the T. From Detroit. Right. A T in Detroit. Dana knows who's, what Jewish baseball players are in the Hall of Fame. Tell Jeff. Do you remember who? Green. And, right. and now this baseball player, Jewish baseball player, is not in the Hall of Fame, but Mo Berg knew how many six languages, yeah, he and he would Princeton. read them, and he read oh, yeah. to Princeton, and he was a spy. The catcher was a spy. And a lot of people say to me, "Didn't you make the pic uh, the film about the spy?" Berg, Greenberg, they get it confused. If you girls walk up, I'll show you Sandy Koufax. Okay. Right. You'll like seeing Sandy Koufax. He goes yeah. down in Florida. Is that? That's Mo Berg, the catcher who was a spy. They did some movie, uh, some books on Yeah, wait, wait, girls. This is more of Hank Greenberg. Folk art paintings right here. See Hank? Right here. <coughs> and this is Hank because everyone, when he played for Tiger uh, for the Tigers, everyone would listen to him on the radio. Daddy, you have that shirt on. Wait, what shirt? That shirt? Right, that's Hank Greenberg's yeah. old timer shirt from 1969. And then this is the poster, like I'm going to give your daddy. Oh, but great. This is Sandy Koufax. Well, maybe the she's a relative. Who did all these, Aviva? The, uh, uh, Leslie Cooter, who used to live in Washington. Really great artist. What is this? And you know what I'm going to give your daddy? Is that life science? There's a CD what called, I don't know, but maybe you better put it back, called Diamond Cuts. And what it has is oh. take me out to the ball game in Yiddish. Oh, great. So you Thank do you. That to your daddy. Thank you. Thank this you. Is all, is, oh, these are all baseball songs. Right. But we have take me out to the ball game in Yiddish there. That's great. All right. Here's Aviva Kepner's award went in, The Life and Times of Hank Greenberg, that we all saw. And so we're right. going to. So I'm going to do it. Uh, I always do it right here on the side. Wherever you want. Great. And then maybe sign two little um, postcards. Yeah. My pleasure. Do you know that they're that selling these on eBay? I know, I've seen that. I gave them free. I know, no, no, I'll sign them in front. Oh, front. Makes me furious. I kept the, the original one that you gave me. Oh, really? Good. How much are they going for? Someone said $9. There's Hank Greenberg swinging away. And Aviva signing away. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that was a nice yeah. picture. It's a home run. It's a shame he, he didn't break the record in 1938 when he had yeah. 58. Yeah. Well, you know, I have a theory. I think he loved um, Babe Ruth so much that he didn't be he didn't want to be. This is the poster I had. Uh, oh, girls, come get let me help help me, okay? Will you come here, guys? Do, me? do you want to help her open up the big picture of Hank Greenberg? Here, take if you would take this and you would take the cap. See, this is the poster I'm going to give your daddy, and this is what I wrote on it. Thanks for your Wheaties box. You know, your dad has such an incredible collection that he has a picture of Hank Greenberg because he was a breakfast of champions. And I use that for the film. You, and without your daddy's collection. Well, you'll see the movie, I'll show you. And look, and look, I have that card too. That's a 1935 yeah. Diamond Star card. Hey, did, um, is that the picture I showed? No, I, you brought in a 1934 Gowdy. Like you wanna hold it? Yeah. And look what she wrote. Thanks for your Wheaties. Haven't you guys eaten Wheaties before? Yeah. yeah. You eat Wheaties and you get strong. And, and, and Hank Greenberg ate his Wheaties and he, and he grew to six foot four. So you, your theory is that he didn't want to uh, break Babe Ruth's record? 
uh, I think conscious, well, they didn't pitch them all good balls. I think there's something unconsciously about them that he was just as happy not to because he's so revered. They, right. Little psycho babble. What can I say? It's similar to Hank Aaron. No one wanted him to break Babe Ruth's career home runs. Ta da! See, the, the worst thing about it was Hank Greenberg is that he had 331 homers, but he missed four seasons. Four and a half years. Yeah, he missed like four the man who like Williams. But he was like the first to... Um, Every no. time I see people cite uh, career records, I think about those courageous baseball players like Hank and DiMaggio and Williams, who went off to war for our country. Right, I mean, and Williams went to two wars. Oh yeah, career wars, I yeah. But like, um, Hank Greenberg would have probably had 500 homers. Absolutely. If, if, if you'd miss all those years. Yeah, yeah. When America needed a hero, Hank Greenberg stepped to the plate. And that's it's your right slogan. That's my slogan. <laughs> Neil, yes. I just want you to know, keep on continuing to collect because there's going to be future films about Colfax, about Sean Green, and you're a documentary filmmaker's delight. Well, I hope you Without do. Without your I... Wheaties box. Yeah. And I hope you're going to continue the collection. Right you'll here. keep it, and you'll collect. You and your sister. Come on, girls. You guys have some cards. You gotta continue the tradition, okay? Will you promise me? Yeah. Well, that was a lot of fun. It was fun meeting Aviva. Hopefully, you'll meet some other people with me. Or if not, I'll just show you all the pictures of all the famous Jewish people I've met over the years. Thanks, Jeff. And Dean and Sarah, did you have fun? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll see you, Jeff. All right, bye, We'll Neil. talk soon. Take care. Bye.